Welcome to today's wood carving. We are going to carve a uh, glide bait. Nah, not really. But this is a damn cool glide bait actually from US, which is called a Manta. Uh, this bait has a very cool tendency to go like it glides really far uh, to the right and to the left when you pull it, and it has a perfect balance. Uh, it's a super cool pike bait actually, and I kind of played around quite long now to create a fly that is moving exactly like this. And uh, I think I've succeeded quite well. So that is what we're going to tie today. And it's uh, slightly a smaller version, uh, but um, it's a super cool pattern in my opinion. We're going to have a double tail in the back. Um, we are going to have a foam body in the middle, so we have a perfect balance to the fly. And also, what's very, very important is that we have this stiff extension to the fly. Because if we don't have that with the flat tail, we're not going to get that um, same lift and balance as this plate is doing in the back here. So we want, we want to have this on a tube uh, and we want to have this tail very flat so it really keeps the balance and really makes this fly go side to side and really stop like this. And it really works and it's super cool. So check it out. So we're gonna prep a few things and we're gonna tie the fly and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you a little bit about how we're going to shape the, the head because that's really, really crucial and it's a big important thing in this fly. So stay tuned.
this is very crucial now. This is, needs to be straight. So you can kind of play around here, twisting the nylon a little bit. I'm not tying the tube onto the hook here. I'm just kind of like pushing the thread wraps down towards the tube. So it's actually, it's not loose, but I haven't tied it on because it's going to be very complicated if you want to try this, tie, to, tie this hard tube onto the hook, you know. So it's basically only pressed uh, against here. So we get that nice kind of like stiffness here. But then we're gonna go towards the hook guy with the thread here now. I've been tying the back part with um, with the 50 denier thread, but now I'm gonna do um, a dubbing loop where we're gonna have quite a lot of craft fur inside of it. And usually if you use it with a 50 denier, it can break it. So now I'm gonna switch to a 100 denier thread. I think it builds a little bit too much when you're tying these, um, these uh, materials in the back here. But now when we're doing the dubbing loop, I think it's a good choice to use a 100 denier.
now we're in the end of the fly here. Uh, we have done basically ripple eyes, craft fur, ripple eyes, craft fur, foam head, balanced. So this edge of the of the diver head, or the double barrel or whatever we're gonna call it, the popper head, is the same edge as the barb. So we have a perfect balance on this. So now we're gonna do a reversed head here, kind of like Andreas Anderson style. So we're gonna tie craft fur forward and fold it backward. And then we're going to try to make this a little bit kind of a, this slope here. So it's not just round, you know. So every time you push this, it's just gonna go a little bit forward down, which is this tail here is gonna keep it going on the side side. So we're gonna make that slope a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep more of the material underneath and less on the back here. So we can create that angle a little bit. So slightly shorter fibers on the belly but we're going to leave more material of what we're saving here. We're just gonna taper this a little bit so it becomes kind of a, a nice transit here. And then on the top, we're gonna cut that off much more. So we're gonna have that top lying down more and the other one creating that belly in a much better direction. This is also going to be slightly longer than the belly. We're gonna run these new angry eyes. So uh, they don't really work on all flies, but we're gonna have a little bit more flat surface here, a little bit more belly to it. I think it's gonna look really, really cool.
we got it. One angry surfer dude with this uh, double tail in the back. Perfect balance. With, uh, so every time you're gonna pull this, it's, we're gonna have this little bit flatter surface here, going to really trace it. And then the perfect balance and this, this tail here, which is flat, is really gonna make it surf like this. I must say, I think this is a super cool pattern, quite simple. It's really cool that we can actually move flies, uh, like we're gonna move this one. So pretty happy with this one. Hope you're gonna be too. And if you wanna have a chance to win it, Please leave a comment, follow us, and uh, well, if you didn't tie one, you might get this one. So, good luck. See you out there, guys.